day 3 namin ngayon at sa kawaling araw namin dito sa Medicine Hut o uwi na kami ngayon. Ngayon pupunta muna kami at kakain ng breakfast. Yes, they have this different um Yeah, they always change them up. Oh, because in some Katapos lang namin kumain ng breakfast so magliligpit na kami tapos meron lang dadaanan magagasolina tapos head back home na kami ngayong araw na to kasi ngayong araw halos abot yata ng 45 yung weather forecast so gusto namin makalis ng maaga dito sa Medicine Hut Dasania City yata ito ang Medicine Hut at mainit kaya ayan po nag enjoy naman kami sa aming stay maganda yung hotel masarap ang tulog at may aircon Kaya po, overall, nagpapasalamat sa blessing ng trabaho at saka blessing na rin na nandito kami. Dadaan lang muna kami saglit sa pinagtrabahoan ni Miles at check lang niya bago kami umalis. Kasi kung may babalikan ang layo nito, 5 hours, one way na drive. Ngayon natapos na namin tingnan yung dapat tingnan ni Miles. Ngayon on the way na kami sa World tallest TP dito sa Medicine Hut. Titingnan namin at ito yung recommended na kailangan daw namin bisitahin. Pero bago ang lahat, dadaan muna kami sa tourist information para mag-check ng mga info doon. We will be dropping by at the tourist center to check out a specific book where Miles' uh, grandparents are part of the book and it's also part of the history of this town. So we are exploring the Canadian Badlands. We are at the tourist info and the bus is there. The bus is leaving. Yay, so cute. Inside the Tourist Information Center, there are also some souvenirs if you are interested to purchase them. So just for me, I just look around and check out what they have. The Sunshine Trolley Bus is leaving now and it will cost you $20 to tour the whole city. After inquiring about the book in the Tourist Center, we head to the TP. <laughs> so we're now going to the TP. Checking it out after checking Mal's family history. From the tourist center, going to the TP is about 5 minutes drive. To visit the Saami TP is free. There is no entrance. So just wanted to let you know it's free and there is no entrance. Ayan na po, nakikita na natin ang the world tallest TP. So, ayan, pupuntahan po namin ngayon. At i-check at i-enjoy lang for a few moments bago po kami mag-head to Costco naman para mag -asolina. According to Medicine Hut website, this is called Saamis Tipi, the world tallest tipi. The Saamis Tipi was originally constructed for the Calgary 1998 Winter Olympics. Each of the 10 masts features a large storyboard, defecting aspect of the native culture and history. Miles and I are so grateful to be able to see an, this world tallest teepee. It's just like amazing to see it. And we had a wonderful time checking out and reading all the different history that represent on this wall that they have written. So if you are gonna passing through or driving through Medicine Hut, this 
tp is worth checking out if you love to learn more about place history the saamis tp is located at trans canada highway next to the tourism center of medicine hut the main mass of the tipi measured 215 feet, the same as a 20-story building, and the diameter is 160 feet with a foundation weight of 800 metric ton. The Saamis tipi where it is located, it says that it's a scenic seven-person coolie lace, the Saamis archaeological site one of the most important archaeological site of northern plains the area was one of a buffalo camp and meat processing site and experts believe over 83 million artifacts at buried at the site so this information is from the medicine hut website and we're just sharing it here for um those who have not visited the place to get more and understanding and information about the Saamis Tipi, which is the world tallest tipi. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe before continuing watching our video as our next video will show you about a little bit of the downtown of Medicine Hut as we drive through around the city. Medicine Hut has a lot of green space or walking trail, which personally I tried to walk about an hour on one of their walking trail where it is near a Walmart location. So, but right now we are driving through towards downtown, so I can still see that there is a lot of walking trail here too, which is good to say they promote uh, good health and places for the family to walk around I have seen as well that they have beautiful houses here where we drive Right now, we are at the bookstore buying the book that Miles uh, and Sisters was included in the book.
heading to Costco Red Cliff. bago dito wala sa amin sa Liduk di rin kami nagtagal sa Costco nag check lang kami kasi wala naman kaming bibilihin and we head back to the highway 1 going home and we're just gonna enjoy the Whitfield agricultural farm that we will see uh, for the next five hours of our driving, going home to Liduk, Alberta.
we finally reached the Stony Trail heading towards Eritrea. Inabutan na kami ng sunset sa aming pagbiyahe but it was an amazing sunset that we have witnessed uh, at the Queen Elizabeth Highway 2. Thank you guys for watching and see you on our next video bye bye and god bless everyone before you end this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much